Washington is determined to continue maintaining a robust military presence abroad. That's what U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel says in the face of growing public pressure for the government to pull back from its affairs in numerous other countries. But as Guyane Chichikan now reports, America's policies have garnered it more enemies than friends. President Obama's presidency began with each of the BRICS countries hoping to build closer ties with the U.S. Little of that sentiment remains today. Four years ago, the Obama administration announced its pivot to Asia, designed to counterbalance the growing power of China in Asia Pacific. Among other things, the U.S. is negotiating a trans-Pacific trade agreement, which does not include China. So some in Beijing feel the U.S. has embarked on a policy of containment against their country. President Obama's recent visit to Asia, bypassing China, did not help. India is giving Washington the cold shoulder. An Indian diplomat was arrested in New York last year. Subsequently, India treated the U.S. ambassador to India as a persona non grata in New Delhi. The ambassador has resigned. So there is some tense tit-for-tat going on between the U.S. and India, otherwise and previously friendly nations. Brazil. Well, relations took a nosedive after Edward Snowden's leaks about the NSA spying. Brazil's president even canceled a state visit to Washington in protest last year. These emerging economies also find themselves majorly underrepresented at the IMF in terms of their voting share. Belgium has greater voting weight than India or Brazil. Attempts to change that were blocked by the U.S. Congress. Well, as for Russia, tensions are deteriorating by the day over Ukraine, which was forced to choose between the West and Russia. Moscow also feels it's been subject to a policy of containment. Notably, all four, China, India, Brazil and South Africa, abstained in a UN vote condemning Russia over Crimea. There are many things that could have caused the drift away from Washington in each of these cases. Well, really, uh, what the U.S. is attempting to do is, through military threats, to impose its dominance on the entire globe. It's a completely impossible policy. Uh, it has brought and it will continue to bring real resistance because every country now understands that there is an effort to uh, burrow into uh, their societies and destabilize them. One could argue that much of the tension that we see today stems from the U.S. still not being able to embrace a multipolar world and still trying to dictate outcomes. In Washington, I'm going to check on our team.